Good morning crafty friends. Today I'm going to teach you how to make the Rick Rack Ribbon Rosette Flower. Um, it's just something that I was messing around with and I got some of this beautiful May Arts Crushed Velvet Rick Rack and so I wanted to try and do something with it. So this is what I made. These pretty little rosette slash ribbon flowers. I hope that shows up. But anyway, this is this is them. So let's get started. Okay, I have a piece of the rick rack and I cut it approximately 12 inches in length. Now, when I cut the edges, I cut them on an angle, both edges. That will help with the process of making um, the loops of the flower go a little bit quicker and easier. So I'm taking this first edge and I'm just folding it back so that it measures up with the bottom of the first dip of the Rick Rack. I'm going to take my threaded needle and I'm going to go underneath and I'm going to come up through to the bottom. Okay. Now you're just going to proceed to take your needle and thread in and out on the very bottoms only of the Rick Rack. And I'm just simply doing a, an in and out, not a, a sewer, so I think they call this a a slip stitch or just going straight through and as you can see as I go in and out over and under it starts creating these little loops on your needle so you're just going to continue doing that all the way to the end of your ribbon And doing this and starting with your different ribbon sizes will determine how big that layer of quote unquote petals will eventually be. Okay, and as you go through, you're going to pull it through your ribbon, or your, excuse me, you're going to pull your ribbon through your thread. My ribbon, or my thread is actually a little bit longer because I just threaded it and I want to do a couple layers and you'll see as you get going it creates these loops automatically because of the Rick Rack the composition of the Rick Rack okay so I just keep threading it through and you want to end as we're coming to the end <coughs> you want to end <coughs> with your last loop up so this I'll just cut off and I'll cut in that same angle. Okay, so now you're at the end and you've got your your layer so to speak and you can see all your nice little loops they're automatically created and how tight you pull your thread will determine how tight the loops will be you can keep them nice and tight so that they're all around each other like that or you can try and loosen them up a bit like as I did in this flower you can see in the bottom here these are much more looser it all depends on you Then you can see on this one I kept it pretty tight so to close up your loop you're simply going to take your needle and you're just going to go back through to where you started and you're going to slide your thread right on through and there you go there's your there's your loop or your layer 
and again how small your loop and layer will be determined by two things number one how tight you pull your thread and number two how um, how big your piece of rickrack was to begin with as I said this piece here started out as a 12 inch piece loop back through these bottom this bottom part here with my needle and then just wrap my thread around the needle a little bit to close it off and trust me I am not a sewer so <laughs> this is about as easy as it gets okay and then this extra piece that we didn't want to use you will simply trim off then I'll turn it back over and see there you go this is pretty much the basic uh, the base of all of your layers now as you notice with the finished one I did two layers and then in the center I did a, a little rosebud and how I did that simply very easily took a smaller length of the rickrack and in this case uh, depending on the size of the hole of the finished hole that looks like a pretty small one so um, so here's approximately four inches now for this I took my Pioneer glue stick and I just ran the glue right along the back of the rickrack. Now you may use whatever adhesive you like that you feel works well. I found that this glue stick worked really well for the technique of creating the little ribbon rows in the middle. And all you simply do is take your rickrack and you start folding it. And you will fold it over onto itself and you'll roll and it really is just that easy and the glue from the glue stick is helping to adhere that nice little tight bud right in there and then you'll just continue rolling and you just want to try and keep it so that it rolls right on top of itself sorry I don't know if you can see this too well my fingers are in the way and you just continue right on rolling through and as you roll you wanna keep it as tight as you possibly can checking your tension of your roll okay so that's your tight little roll there and then you just want to make sure and again cut it on the angle and cut any loose frayed edges off you can take something like a circle punch and use some scratch paper and I cut out a circle this particular one was the 7 8 circle but again the size will be determined on how big you want your flower. Now here I'm just using some liquid glue and I'm just coating that base and I'm going to put my layer right on there. Okay, you can pick it up and you can kind of work with it a little bit to get your petals, so to speak, in a nice circular shape. You can even turn it over to see where your circles at in relation to your petals to try and even it out okay and the, it, you just let it set up and it will hold really well so then I just took some more adhesive in the center and took the little rosette we just created by rolling the rick rack on itself and you just tuck it right in the center now I'll use something like um, my quickie stick because it's got a nice point and you can just kind of poke it down in there 
down into that that bed of glue that you laid in there and because it's liquid glue you have a little time to to adjust things before it sets completely to get the look you want and the quickie stick is great for tucking in those loose threads or any kind of edges that you don't think look so great so that's pretty much how you you make it and of course you can continue to make them um, like I did with these finished ones where they were three layers this one here is just the two layers for demonstration but this one here you can see I did three layers and as you do the layers they kind of they kind of puff up or they thicken up um, this finished rose is, is probably Rick Rack Rosette is probably about a half inch in height I don't know if you can see that it's about a half inch in height again how tight you roll it will detem determine how the finished end flower circumference and overall look is see here you can see that I rolled the rosette real tight here wasn't as tight here it's kind of more tucked in here and here's the one we just made they're very quick and easy once you get going and then of course you can make just the rosettes here's one I made that was approximately I think the ribbon was about nine inches that I started with and I just kept rolling and when you're rolling it's just important to remember to keep that that rickrack even with itself and then I just glued it to a little circle base so it would be ready to roll for a project but that's my um, that's my little these are my little Rick Rack ribbon rosettes slash flowers I don't, I don't know what to call them but I'm sure somebody's probably made them I don't know I I just messed around with uh, the Rick Rack and this is what I came up with anyway thank you so much for um, watching be sure to visit my blog which is mypapercrafting.com. That's mypapercrafting.com for a bunch more ideas. And uh, I've got a lot of picture tutorials. Hopefully, I'll get some more videos. Thanks so much. Have a wonderfully crafty day.